lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to install Visual C++ build tools. So first here in Google search box, write there Visual Studio. Then you can get here Visual Studio Microsoft.com site. So this place you can see the new page that's open. There you can get here Visual Studio. So different apps are available community, enterprise, professional. Let's use here enterprise. And now you can see Visual Studio setup exe file that's download completed. Let's click on this. There you can see Visual Studio installer that's come there. Click on this continue. So this do some download as well as do some install. And getting Visual Studio installer ready. So now you can see this place. So you can get uh, this all features. But uh, or there we need to use here desktop development and inside the desktop development you can get this all. So these uh, features are important. C++ and here CMake this all. After that click on this install button. So now you can see this is Visual Studio Enterprise 2020. So this is now doing the download as well as doing some install process. So the size is 2.79 GB. So this will take some time. So I'm going to pause the video. Uh, here Visual Studio Enterprise with C++ that install. Thereafter you can sign in create account or let's do here escape. Then this or uh, you can select our theme. Let's click on this start Visual Studio. So this is the uh, starting first time that I'm using. Then you can create the project. And here you can see empty project, you can create console application with uh, C++ and CMake files, you can get here. After that, the most important thing is, let's go on this C drive here, program files. Then search here, Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 is there. So enterprise, you can see, it can be different. It can be different to uh, like... Uh, in your system, maybe community or professional. So let's click there. Then after here you can see MS Build current bin. And here if I press M, then you can see here build and uh, Microsoft build DLL this all. So you need to copy this location and right here add it system environment variable then click on this environment variable path is there add it I scroll down so now the next is click on this new and save that so this all done here click on ok so now we can we are successfully install visual c++ build tools inside the windows operating system